Hello there. My name is Richard Swan and I'm the director of London City Voices. We're a large non-audition choir based in London. Uh, this is London City Voices here in this in a, in a concert at uh, Troxy, uh, one of our many, uh, obviously pre-pandemic. During the pandemic, we have been we have obviously taken all of our rehearsals online uh, and we were doing them for a long time on Zoom. And then uh, we discovered Jamulus and Jamulus has been a game changer for us. Um, it's allowed us to sing in real time together. Um, it's not without its issues, but it's a, it's a proper game changer. So it, it, it has really um, completely moved the goalposts. Um, so uh, it also allows you to integrate it with Zoom with a little bit of uh, cleverness. Um, and so that the people, maybe the people in your choir who will never get to grips with that kind of tech um, can still take part and hear everybody else's voices. They still have to, to sing muted, but they can hear what everybody else is doing. So I'm just going to give you a little tour of Jamulus and the different windows that you need to, uh, that you'll experience. So, uh, and just, and, and why you might use uh, the different things. So uh, I'm going to switch across to my screen. And so here we are. So the, here is, here's four of the five windows within Jamulus. This is the main one. This is where all the action happens. There's not much happening there right now. Um, but I'll explain that in a, in a sec. So um, with all the with all, all of these uh, windows, if if it, if you can't find it, just find the button and, and press it. So for example, the settings window, uh, it's there. It's at the top. It disappears. So if it's sometimes it hides. If you put it there, for example, and you might click that, then it disappears and you can't find it. So you just press that and it'll be back again. Um, same for the chat window. The chat is obviously it's just chat. The people in the in the server can can hear you, uh, can can read what you're saying. Um, and uh, we'll come to the connection setup in a minute. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the go to my profile, and I'm going to change my profile, or I'm going to show you that my pro my profile window. This will be set up as no name first. So you put your name in. I, we, what we do in the choir is put your your voice part in. So B two base two, uh, and then abbreviated. Uh, to maybe three or four letters. So Rich Swan here. Um, and then for instrument, um, I've uh, for, for again, for choir, we've got all these ones here, so vocal. So, you, so that's a really important thing because then what, what you can do is you can organise your instrument, your singers by, by instrument so that all the sopranos are next to each other and then all the altos are next to each other and you can, you can uh, adjust them accordingly. Um, so that's quite an important one. And then this is really the only text field. So that's where I've put my full name and uh, and then London. So that works quite well. Uh, once you've, you're done with that, you can just close it and you can edit that at any time. So if you happen to want to go in. So I often go in as, a, you know, into jam sessions uh, with, as a keyboard vocalist. And um, so I'll I'll cho choose that for my voice rather rather than something else. Um, so um, the settings window is where we're going to do quite a lot of work. Um, this bit here is the device that you're using for your microphone and the device that you're using that your headphones are plugged into. You have to use headphones. They have to be wired headphones. Um, and I've got a lot of stuff on my Mac. So um, I'm using the Yeti to go in and the uh, my Scarlett uh, interface out. I've got several interfaces connected. This is why there's so many things. You'll probably only have two or three things in yours, if that. Um, I'm on a Mac, so it's a bit easier for me. Uh, Mac users tend to have an easier time getting connected. Um, uh, I, oh, I I could actually look at the screen now, so that's fine. Um, so uh, if you're on a PC, you and you don't have an external interface, you will you need to use the ASIO for all drivers, and then you there's a little um, window here, a little button here which you'll press, uh, which is ASIO setup, and then you it it'll ask you to select which devices you're using for microphone and for headphones um, from that. Now, this may this might require um, uh, trying and testing and it might crash a couple of times. Um, it's taken up to an hour and a half to get that working for somebody, uh, for, for, for various members of my choir. But often it's very quick. Um, so don't be put off. It's worth it's worth it to, to persevere. Trial and error and patience are what you need to do and you, you need to have. Um, your internet speed is all about 
it's well, it's all about the ping with with um, with Jamulus. Uh, you might have a really fast download speed on your internet. I have Virgin Media. Uh, we have the top packet, well, one of the top packages on there, which is two hundred megabits per second download, and so it's really fast download. But their ping isn't great. So when I connect to a server, this bit here is fluctuating all the time, um, and ideally, it wouldn't be. So ideally, this would be stable, maybe maybe eight or nine, and maybe popping to seven occasionally, something like that. Mine uh, on on my server, my one is uh, around about it's like 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 up to there, but it's ju jumping around all over the place, and then suddenly it it shoots to thirty five or fifty, and then some sometimes in peak times it'll f it'll shoot to two hundred and fifty or something like that, which makes it really hard to use. Um, so if you're on Virgin Media, you might want to consider, if you're going to use Jamulus seriously, you might want to consider changing from them because because I've tried to get them to stabilize it and they, they're, they're not listening. So um, I have just ordered BT. Uh, I'm going to give it a 14-day trial. Um, apparently there's a cooling off period. I'm going to try that. Um, if you've got full fiber to the premises, then fantastic. Okay, that's that's the ideal. So companies like Hyperoptic and and that they are um, a friend of mine has just gone with them and he's got one a ping of one millisecond, which is uh, phenomenal. Um, now on uh, with ping and with latency and and jitter. Jitter is the is the interference that you get. It's like um, it, it sounds like a gurgling or a crackling um, that 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 happens a lot, and uh, it's a trade off between that and latency, which is the delay. Um, now, if you don't want, if you if you go for the lowest latency possible, um, then you're likely to get more jitter, and it's a constant battle. So, when you connect first, this will be ticked to auto, and then when you're connected to a server, this will move up and down a bit. I would suggest uh, choosing. Well, we'll come to that in a second. Um, switching this to uh, let, letting it sort of stabilize on auto and then unticking it and moving it up uh, a couple of notches, so maybe eight um, and, and ten or something like that. Um, on the uh, this bit here, um, it defaults to that. You may notice some delay with that, a little kind of slight echo uh, on your voice. Uh, that should go away when you get there, but you might find there's more jitter. So this is a constant game of, of moving between them. Um, if you have it on there, it might become unusable for you. So you might find that the delay is too much to work with. Um, uh, there's other things you can do to improve um, uh, improve it all. You can have this, this is, I have it set to stereo, but you can have it set to mono. Uh, you can have the audio quality set to um, normal instead of high. Um, I do advise that you change new client level to 50. That means it's 50 percent. So that's that's um, if somebody else, if somebody if you join a room and somebody else then joins the room after you, um, after you've set everybody's levels to a comfortable um, level in the mixer, they'll only join at 50 percent rather than 100 percent and be really loud. So I advise you do, to, to, to set that to 50. The skin is to do with what that looks like. And that. Um, it's defaults to f f to fancy, but um, if you've got a lot of people in your server, we have like forty five people in ours at the moment, um, and uh, so I use compact, and it just means that you can fit more people. That's what it looks like. You can fit more people in there um, uh, at the same time. Um, so I'll bring it back to there. Um, if you are using a private server, that's where you put your you put the IP address that that private server is is hosted on. So if you have if your choir has its own private server, that's where you put the IP address in. I have two actually, and um, one is numbers and one is um, one is letters. Um, but uh, I'm not telling you those uh, because it's my private server. Um, uh, but that's where you put that in. When you put that pri that that um, private server in, it won't change anything here. This is the this is. This is the list of servers, but what you'll need to do is change this from default to custom. Okay, now there's nothing in there at the moment because I haven't put anything in there. But if I put my my um, private server in there, it'll appear here, and then I can I can double click it, click on it. I'm going to put this back to the to the default, which is the, all the list of 
public servers. So these are all rooms. Think of it like a little town where there are loads of pubs. Sounds like a great town to live in. Um, and each of those pubs has got different uh, groups meeting in them. So, you know, different um, bands and stuff playing. So this one, there's a 10-piece band in there. It's full. That can only hold 10 people. Um, Phil Jam, uh, so that, that room is empty. There's no people, but it could fit 10 people in there. Uh, DPK, DPK Prod has got 3 out of 10. Um, and it's it's listing them in order of ping uh, distance from you. So th these are the nearest ones. So these will give the best, pr best results for you. Um, and you can just go in and you can listen to what people are doing. If I... Um, I don't really want to disturb anybody else's session right now. Um, they look like they're all kind of bands from the same kind of place. I could pop into the into here. I'll pop into the central server. I'm going to mute myself first. Um, so I'll do that with this button here, which is mute myself. And this you get this red thing across the top. This is really important. Uh, if you want to mute yourself in the room, or you want to have a private conversation with somebody in your house, uh, or you, you've got a coughing fit coming on or something like that, use mute myself. Don't use, well, I'll show you what not to use in a second. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join this central server if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, now you can see this. You can't hear it at the moment. Um, no, it's not coming through there. Oh yeah, I need, I need to f switch something on my headphones here. I'll plug them in here. So you can hear some music coming out there. It's just, I haven't got it routed through to this system yet. So you're just hearing it out of the headphones. But I could mute, the, let's find the drummer. I'm gonna solo different things. There's the drummers, Massimo. So I can solo that. And you'll just hear the drums. Okay. Um, I could also mute him. Oh, there's another drummer there, I think, as well. <laughs> That's going to get confusing. Um, I could just solo. Yes, this person's also playing drums and singing, I think. Um, this person. OK, anyway, it's all a bit mixed up there. Um, and a lot of crackle going on there as well. Um, this is if I was to mute myself, this is me. If I was to mute myself. It would only mute myself for me, not for anybody else. I'm going to disconnect there because that's quite annoying. Um, so that's how that works. You've that this part here is your very own personal mixer, so it only affects you and what you're listening to. Um, so that's how that works. Um, uh, in terms of your own volume, um, let me go into. I'm going to go into uh, a, an empty room, actually, for a minute. So let's have a look. Um, I'll go in there. No, I won't. I'll go right up here for a second. Um, go in here. Right. I'm going in there. OK, so this is somebody else's server. Uh, they've just said uh, Soul Band formed at Sheffield University. Feel free to use the server when we're not using it. That's quite useful. Now, you can see when I'm talking that my volume is going up here so ideally you want it so that it's hitting the hitting the green t all the way to the top of the green occasionally hitting the yellow if it go if it goes into the red like that then it's too loud so if you're going to be singing at the top of your voice la that's too loud so i where you turn that down is on your well for me it's on my microphone so i could just turn the gain down and you can see the it's getting quieter la you can hear it's getting quieter as well um uh, so I would just have that set a little bit lower. If you need to do it within, if you haven't got a gain setting on your actual microphone, I need to put that back up again a little bit. Then um, what you do is you go to, for in, on the Mac, you go to System Preferences and Sound. And then I, you select your your microphone and then you can adjust the level there and bring that down like that if necessary. But I'm going to leave it there. Um, and uh, I think that's mostly it. That's most of the things that you need to know. Um, 
uh, let me know uh, if this has been of some use to you. I hope it has. Um, and uh, come and check us out at londoncityvoices.co.uk. Uh, and we've got a YouTube channel and all that as well. And this is the YouTube channel, actually. This is where it's hosted. So um, I hope it's been of some use to you. Uh, I'm going to disconnect from there. And um, yeah, take care. Bye bye.